Welcome guys to another episode of Flasachi's Kitchen. Today I am going to make something very special. Um, also it's a request from a friend of mine. I am making um, mac and cheese with lobster and king crab. So I have some leftovers from one of my um, the uh, mug bank that I did recently. So. I am using I am using that um, leftovers to make the mac and cheese so please stay tuned and let's get straight to cooking guys I'll see you all right first I have some water here I am not going to add any salt to my pasta water and on the other side, on the other side, I am going to start on my lobster. I want to add some flavor and cook it a little bit before I add it to my um to my pasta okay just like that and I have some seasoning cutting my lobster just a little bit okay I'm adding just a little bit of onion to it. Okay, 
spice in it, a little bit of Mrs. Dash, and a little bit of Goya. Seafood is done, okay? I am going to set it aside. Now it's time for me to add my pasta. This is the kind of pasta that I will be using. And I don't add no salt and no oil to my pasta. All right, now I am going to start on making the base for my uh, for my mac and cheese. First, I am starting with a little bit of butter. I am starting with a little bit of butter and garlic. Okay, I'm trying to cook the garlic just a little bit. Now what I'm going to add is my milk. Okay. I'm also adding um can milk to it. And a little bit of can milk okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to add my seasoning I mean my herbs and spices and stuff Okay, now it's ready. Put my stove down and I am going to add my cheese. All right, you see how thick this is? You don't have to add no flour on the bottom. I do not like to add flour to my mac and cheese, so. Mm. Adding just a little bit more milk. And my pasta on the other side is ready. I don't wait for my pasta to be al dente because I want my pasta to have, um, to be able to hold itself. And I also want my pasta to cook through when I put it in the, um, the oven. So... And this is the reason why I don't add salt and oil to my pasta because the cheese is already salty and then greasy. 
some more. Now look at this guys. Look at this mac and cheese. Now what I'm going to add right now is some sour cream to Okay, look at this pot. Look at this mac and cheese. Very simple and easy. All right. Oh, very good. What I'm going to do, what I'm doing now, I am going to add my um, lobster, my seafood. Can turn off your stove at this moment. Okay, mix it. Yes, my love. Hey, baby. Pick him up. Stay here with him. Now I am going to pour it in a baking pan. Sprinkle some cheese on top. All right, just like that. Now this mac and cheese is very light, okay? It's not as heavy as the other mac and cheese. Very yummy. Okay. Add some cheese in it. And boom. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Alright, guys. Alright, now I am done. I am done with the mac and cheese. Now it's in the oven. To go with the mac and cheese, what I'm gonna do. To go with it, I am going to saute some green onion. I mean, I am going to saute some green beans. And also, I have, I have some cod fish that I am going to bake. I'm not going to fry it, I'm just going to bake it. Let me show you how I'm going to bake this beautiful cod fish, guys. Please stay tuned. All right, guys, to make this smell simple and easy on me, okay, I wash my fish. Right now, I'm going to crush two garlic cloves. Put it on top of the fish. I'm going to add some butter to my fish. A little bit of this 
Reese's Dash. Some lemon juice. And a little bit sprinkle of garlic. Okay. Now it's time to rub those together. with some aluminum foil pop it in the oven All right, guys, I am back. Uh, everything is ready. This is the bread. As you can see, it's not sticking to the pan. And this is the green beans, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is so delicious. Now, let's look at the fish. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it's so delicious, so yummy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me grab a spoon. Let's taste it. Ooh, tons of flavor. It tastes so delicious. Oh my Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is what you call one healthy meal. Okay? Bake, 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 bake. And start to hey, No oil today. It's just pure water. Anyway, let me take my dish and I will show you how it goes. Alright, guys. I am done. Alright? This is the lush meal that I made. Okay. The lobster mac and cheese. My cornbread. Big fish. This mac and cheese is the best. And one thing I forgot to mention that it has some octopus in it. Mm. It has some leftover octopus. Oh my goodness, that is so damn good. Now, for the fish. It's so white and oh, the smell is so clean and fresh. Oh my goodness, oh my god. This is so good, guys. And cornbread. Mm. Mm. Very light and delicious. The mac and cheese is not as heavy. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me in the kitchen. 
once again. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on the link down below and subscribe and leave your notification on so next time when I post a video, you can see it first. Anyway guys, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Versace's Kitchen.